North Carolina pension trustees heard staff say Thursday Republicans in the General Assembly are taking their advice on funding the pension. The advice ignores an unfunded liability. We feel you know, cautiously optimistic that despite a, a rough budget year that the pension will be funded uh, this year. Last year, the democratically controlled legislature shortchanged state employees to the tune of about $176 million. Months later, the Pension Board of Trustees voted to recommend ignoring the shortfall. The trustees say the minimum pension payment is $785 million this year, including the shortfall with interest brings the total to almost a billion dollars. It appears Republicans are taking their promise to state employees more seriously than the governor because the governor's budget this year was also short by about you know 150 million. The trustees also learned of a Senate bill to make at least two major changes to state employee retirement. Republican Tom Apodaca filed the bill Tuesday. It would use 10 years of salary for the average used as a basis for pension benefits. Now the pension formula uses the final four years of work. It also raises the maximum retirement age to 70. Currently, some workers can retire with full benefits as young as 50. It doesn't consider shifting state workers into a more affordable 401k retirement plan. It would also only affect state workers hired after August 1st this year. It would not have a short-term impact on the funding. It will not um, lower the arc or the liability for years in the future. The board did not discuss the pension fund's latest investment results, missing its goals by more than two and a quarter percent. The fund is worth more than $72 billion. For CarolinaJournal.tv, I'm Anthony Greco.